Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where today uh, ooh, I want to show you how the relationships are going because quite a lot of the town after that festival seem to have uh, a bit more of a liking for me so Frank, Jack, Emily, Yoko, Leah, Lily, Kira, Paul, Raphael so a lot of them I've gone up a heart, which is wonderful. So they do seem to go up a whole heart at once. So that's a good thing to remember. But I haven't given many of these guys presents and they do still seem to be going up in um, in liking of me. So that's really, really good. But I'm not in too much of a rush to, to worry about uh, worry about hearts at the moment. Not in too much of a rush. We started a new initiative called Merit Points, a reward system for community involvement. I'd love to explain more in person. Join me at the community centre soon. Looking forward to it. All the best. Millie. Okay. I'd like to run an idea about local produce. Meet me at the general store when you have time from Sam. Okay. Sam at the general store and Millie at the community centre. Alright. So it looks like some of these might be ready to be harvested. I really need to stop doing that. I thought I had the watering can out. I'll have to make all my money under the sea instead. <laughs> the birds haven't uh, taken any of my crops away recently, so that's really good, I guess. But how am I ever going to be rich if, like, yeah. So I need to be making um, a daisies and turnips at the moment because, no, actually not even turnips, just daisies. I need to go to Sam's place and get some daisies. And I also need to get some wasabi and a moral mushroom. So I'm gonna go and have a quick look around the foresty area and see if I can get those things. Hmm. You look interesting. Oh, it's a wasp again. I can sell that then. Because we already have a wasp in the museum. That also looks... No, that's not a wasp. That is a tiger swallowtail butterfly. Oh, these sell well. These things. Harvest those. Um, any wasabi around here though? be nice if there was but there probably won't be now I need it now I know I need it it's gonna be nowhere to be found you watch okay I might be getting better at this whole thing there's some fish in the water there as well so I do need to get the spring fish ah moral mushrooms fantastic Wasabi doesn't seem to be a thing today. Wasabi is not on the menu. I've still got time though, we're only halfway through spring. Um oh, okay, I can just walk across. Nice. Let's look right into the forest and just have a good old scout around and make sure. Sacred area. I mean, I'm like technically supposed to be able to read those, but you know. Aha, that's a wasabi. Oh no, my inventory is full. Ah. What can I do about that? Hmm. Hmm. Is this something I can put in the bin? I don't want to put anything in the bin. I need like all of it. I need the ghost mantis because I haven't handed that in yet. Oh, that's a nightmare. Okay, I need to go back to my house, I think. 
I know the wasabi is there. So let's go back to my house, put a few things away. Like my sea mushroom. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the sea mushroom in the bin, I think. And I'm gonna go get the wasabi. And then I'm gonna go straight over to the goddess's place and hand these things like straight in. That's what if I don't find it again and I need it for that. That's, that would be annoying. Okay. So I've got all of the spring things that are gatherables that I need to gather. Which is fantastic. Oh, I'm ignoring all these butterflies. I'm pretty sure they're all like the tiger butterflies anyway, and I can just sell those because I've got them already in the museum. But yeah, fast travel is going to be a game changer on this, isn't it? Oh, goodness me. Where even am I now? Okay, so I'm nearly at the... Okay, that's fine. There's someone that I haven't met yet that I can meet. Can't even fit that in my inventory, so... La la la. Oh, there's cherries on the ground. Ah. I'm more wasabi. And someone I haven't met yet. Dipper. Ah, Sheila, I'm Dipper. Nice to meet you, Dipper. So... In, um relationship we've got townsfolk right but then in my journal i think it is there's like extras so karen uh ratty derek and judge ross are all like they're all like extras to it so they're not actual townsfolk they're just other people cool good to know i'm sorry little bug i i can't catch you right now Inventory's chockers with stuff to give to the goddess. Eh. I'm pretty sure I don't have that one in the museum either, so that's kind of annoying, but never mind. As my inventory increases, it'll be easier to catch things. I'll try and get some fish, I'll try and get some geodes, I'll get all of the stuff. Right, so, spring season, we need a moral mushroom, uh, wasabi. So I just now need a daisy and a carrot. The carrots are growing, but we aren't growing any daisies right now. Uh, we also need maple seeds. I have unlocked a recycling machine. Very nice. So... Maybe that'll unlock a fast travel as well. You did it! I did. I did it. Drink this to receive my blessing. Now you can use my shrines and travel freely between them. Oh, thank goodness for that. Worth chopping all down those trees. Drinking the shrine potion! Woohoo! Feeling a bit sick. Goddess Blessing unlocks the ability to use teleport shrines. Nice! And I get a reward of a recycling machine. Turns one resource into another resource. So good, I can fast travel between the lake temple and the farm now. Wonderful. That is so good. Okay, so I've got this recycling machine now, so uh, let's stick that down somewhere. What do we do with the two scrap using two trash? Oh, nice. Extremely nice. Okay, so the other thing that I want to do... Oh, I haven't even finished my watering today somehow. How did that happen? Let's carry on. 
I want to go get some daisies now because it's only carrots and daisies that I need. Daisies shouldn't take too long. They should take a few days. Four or five days, something like that. So let me head over to Sam's and buy some daisy seeds. And that should be enough to finish my spring bundle. And then in summer it shouldn't be so hard because then I won't have to... I'll have the knowledge of what I need for the bundle from the very beginning, which will be quite nice. I don't think that opened any of it. I think I have to do the altars one at a time. And I'm pretty sure that was something that was quite annoying previously to me, to be honest. Um, I'm pretty sure I opened the next altar and I was like, really? I could have been gathering that the whole time. So I might have a peek into what that is and make sure that there's nothing too uh, terrible in there. Right, so I could go to the museum now. I've got two things to hand in in there, haven't I? Just while I'm on my way past. And then head to Sam's and get the daisies. Donate. Ghost Mantis. Is that, is that it? That's the only one. Okay, cool. I always know that I can sell my bugs once I've uh, donated, which is quite nice. Okay then. Any good stuff in the trash? There's some trash in the trash. Wonderful. So I'm supposed to be making some kind of like um, a kelp extractor. And to help make the kelp extractor, uh, I need to make scrap. So now being able to make scrap out of trash is going to be quite handy. And so how many, how, what do I need for the kelp extractor? Let's just remind myself. Uh, I need a bronze kelp and I need more scrap. So if I put like a whole bunch, like 40, maybe need to be 40 trash, isn't it? Into here. So uh, I need the trash on me. Thirty-one trash. I can make that into some scrap. I want to sell my bugs, my extra moral mushroom. I don't need that anymore. My lettuce, I guess. My tulip and my eight turnips. And then I want to stick a load of trash in here. So, do I need that? To, does that have to be on my hot bar to do that? Then, I guess so. At some point, I might actually make it to Sam's shop. Oh no, it's half past four, it's half past four already. I'm not going to make it in time. Okay. I don't know when um, his shop opens or closes or whatever. So I'm just going to chance it and go across there. And see. Maybe it'll be six o'clock instead of five. But I've got a feeling I may have missed my uh, window on the daisies for the day. Possibly closed. Of course it's closed. What's times till five? Of course it was till five. It's closed on a Wednesday. Today's a Thursday. Tomorrow's a Friday. I will be able to sort it out tomorrow. Alright. Can I still go to the town hall and speak to Millie though? Community center. That's open 24 or 7, so maybe. Apparently, there's a stranger right next to me. Taco is busy and can't talk for L. Oh, all the strangers are like pets? Pets count? I see. I'm not sure how much I like those people at the winery. They seem a bit snobby, but like, we, we'll see. We'll see how, they, how things develop with them. Alright then, Millie. What's your idea? Hello there, Sheila. I'm glad you could make it. Look, I've got a tiny bit of progress there. We've recently implemented a system in town to make life here even more rewarding. Let me explain. These are called merit points. You can earn them by completing errands posted on the town board right here in town. But that's not all. 
Attending festivals, winning the minigames or main events at them, and even the town's rank increase can also grant you merit points. For example, my blossoming butterfly have already earned, let's see. She lab, she lab. Ah, there you are. You've earned 40 merit points for attending the Cherry Blossom Festival. Nice. We introduced the system to encourage everyone to get more involved with the community. I should have had 20 from helping someone as well. I think, or 10 or something. Over there at the merit exchange counter, you can exchange the points you've earned for various items. Trust me, it's worth the efforts. So there you have it, Shilab. I'm looking forward to seeing you earn those merit points. Okay, nice. Let's go and see the merit point counter then. Donate books to Coral Library here. Nice. Merit shop, so I can make get stamina fruit. Eating one of these increases vigor. It's pretty bland though. Farming Alexia. Ranching, foraging, mining. Diving, catching, fishing, combat. Oh, okay. So I can imagine that they would give you maybe some experience points in those particular attributes. A coral hero scare, uh, scarecrow, an 11 by 11 area. Oh, these are good scarecrows then. Those are much, much bigger than the scarecrows I've got. Yes, yes, yes. I like it. Okay, cool. I will get merit points so I can get nice scarecrows for my farm. Because the ones at the moment do not do 11 by 11. 11 by 11 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, each one would cover the whole of a, like, four 3 by 3s on their own. So I would not need to put down nearly as many scarecrows if I have those guys. Very good. The tree planting festival is on spring 21st. Okay, I will need to remember that. I'm gonna maybe uh, see who's who's about on the. Are there a load of people in the tavern? Yeah, let's go in the uh, in the tavern. I just have a chat with people. It does seem like chatting does help. Oh, I nearly had him then. far too impatient for this bug catching malarkey. Hopefully I can do a lot with the museum without getting every bug. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I was trying to get to the tavern. I think I may have completely like messed that up. Oh, not too much. Not, not messed it up too much. I was just around the corner. Okay. It's a very nicely decorated town. Right, so... Fish and sips. Has about six people in it at the moment, so we can just go and have a little chat with them all. Now it's time for me to relax. I might visit the mayor and see the damage the Spring Festival took on us. Ugh, I think I threw out my bag. I went too intense with the sack race. Me too, Pablo, me too. That's maybe why you won and I didn't. Glad I could send everyone home with full stomachs yesterday. You did a really good job, Frank. You did loads of stuff. Noah loves roasted mushrooms, but he doesn't like them raw for some reason. Ooh. Loads of cool stuff to eat and drink. Did that put that into... Like, let's go and see. Noah. When I'm told things like that, do they go into the... No, they don't. So I need to remember it. Ugh. Roasted mushrooms. Also, where did the merit points go that I got for doing that quest? That's not fair. I didn't get any because merit points weren't in yet. That's 
irritating. Uh, so we talked to Frank. How many other people around? A couple of people here. Have a little chat to you, Elias. Good thing it didn't rain yesterday, huh? Can you imagine? Did you enjoy the Cherry Blossom Festival? Oh, I don't, uh, I, uh, it was great to see everyone happy at the festival yesterday. I saw you running around saying hi to everyone. What a kind soul you are, yes, dear. Oh, so that got noticed. That's so interesting. And then there's someone there that I don't... I'm not good enough friends with, apparently, to... Let's have another chat with Walter. We supply the tavern with several cases a season. Guests enjoy our local grapes. We're part of Coral Island's identity. My arms are tired from working all day, but I'm never too tired for a good game of pool. So Pablo enjoys playing pool. Starting to get to know them a little bit better. We're getting a few a few ideas about people. So Noah likes roasted mushrooms, but doesn't like them raw. I don't have any way of roasting them, so I've got to like remember that. I really do wish that when people told me that, it would fill in on their on their thing. But no, not gonna happen. So we got a little bit of socialising done there, which is quite nice. I might try and make that a bit of a habit every so often. Just go to the tavern at night and see what people are up to. So tomorrow I want to go to Sam's 100% and I want to do a little bit of diving. I don't think we have time to do much diving right now. We do have the scrap. We don't have 20 scrap though. We have 11 scrap. A little bit of trash. I'll be able to get more trash from under the sea. So that's definitely going to be um, a bit of a deep sea dive and then I'll just get the recyclers and make the scrap for me. Which would be really good. Um, loads of wood at the moment, loads of stone. We're doing really well for all of that. I've got another candy tree seed, which is wonderful. Super happy about that. I've got glass. Glass, I think, will go here. I'm going to kind of have like underwater things there and things from like off my farm here. I may make a different one for monster loot. So why don't we just um, rename this one for sea loot. Sea loot. And then we've got that one, just a makeshift chest. So I can see what I'm trying to aim for at least with those. Might do a little bit of clearing of this path actually while I've got a bit of spare time before bed. Not much spare time but a little bit. I might have to constantly be clearing the path up but uh, it's, uh, I can at least get it a bit clearer. It'd be a bit easier to run around on it, at least. Looks like I've got a fish pond here, so I might be able to do a bit of fishing here too. Okay, it says it's getting late, so I will head to bed. Not before getting rid of those, because that, that was annoying getting snagged on those. Wasn't very happy with that. Let's head to bed for the night. Ah, we're doing great. Go to sleep, go to bed. Go to bed, go to sleep. I earned 40 merit points from going to the Cherry Blossom Festival. And earned 611 from my wasp, my butterfly, oh. Well, I was trying to look through all of that, but I pressed escape and so now it's the next day. Oops. But we got a good amount of money from that, so that's wonderful. And once we start to get a bit more money, I'll be able to decorate a bit more and things. Spoils of the land. You can find sexy shrimp. Oh my gosh. What even is a sexy shrimp? This is too much. Ha ha ha. Anyway, you can find sexy shrimp in the daytime. This ocean critters out in spring, summer, fall and winter, so like all year long. Hang on, did I ever tell you that you can catch critters with a bug net when you're diving? Because you could, totally can. Just go diving and find out. It shouldn't be that hard. That's a good thing to know. 
Okay, 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 okay. Sunny again. Game of Cones with Gordon Rams. Uh, sorry, uh, Gordy Ramses. Right, so. Um, soup. Oh, we did that one before. I've read that already. I know that story. That was the story I read first time around. Get off my stuff, you horrible thing. I need to do more um, of those quests so that I can get one of those big scarecrows. But the main thing is, as long as I get a daisy and a carrot by the end of the season, I will be happy. It looks like the carrots are nearly done as well. So as long as the birds don't eat all of them, I'm good. And I know that those ones there are protected, so... Even if they eat all the outside ones, it should be fine. I'm making good money off, like, everything else. So the farming isn't that super important for money gain. Which is good, because I keep, like... All of my, all of my crops keep getting axed away or eaten by a bird or something like that, so... It's not the best of times. <laughs> Alright then, let's run over to Sam's. Uh, oh, he'll open at 9 though, so maybe I should do a bit of other stuff first. Uh, so why don't we... Grab our scrap and put that away in a chest. We've got 18 at the moment, so I will need a bit more. I'm going to sell that one lettuce, I think. Put away that coal. I don't know where that came from. And fibre and stone. Wood. Oh, it came from bashing rocks, actually. I know where it came from. And then I'm going to head over to Sam's. Uh, by the time I've gotten there, it'll probably be 9 o'clock and time to get in there and we can discuss the idea he's got for crops he's got some kind of idea for crops and i will also buy myself nine daisy seeds and we will plant them in the spare plot that's not got anything planted in it at the moment and then that will be okay we've got to wait 10 minutes i'll have a quick drink i had a quick drink are we ready it's open! You see it change on the board. Okay, Sam, what is your idea? Gee, Lab, you've become quite the regular. Working hard at the farm, hmm? Yeah, getting used to it. Oh, good, I see you're also getting much used to the shipping bin. A little bit. Your shipment's always a huge hit with the townsfolk. I think we all miss the taste of local produce. Here, let me show you something. Imported. This is our import section. Everything on this side is imported. I have to say, it's very expensive to get them here. The shipping costs, taxes, that sort of thing. They add up surprisingly fast. I've done my best to keep prices low. My margins are razor thin, but it's just not enough. Any lower and we'll go under. This side is the local produce. And this here is our local section. It's so empty and really sad to look at. As soon as I receive your crops, I put them here. And they're selling like hotcakes, flying off the shelves as it were. It wasn't always like this. Back in the day when my folks were in charge, the whole store used to be stopped top to bottom with local produce. It was something to be proud of. But now I have no choice but to sell imported produce only. I'd love to reopen the local produce section, but I need your help to do it. The task is simple. You'll need to ship a lot of bronze quality vegetables and fruits. I've jotted the exact amount on this note. And of course, I'll pay extra for this effort. I think extra coins on top of your usual crop commission when the whole order is filled, hmm? Sure. So I need to ship uh, 25 bronze quality fruit and 50 bronze quality vegetables. That'll take me a little while, but I'll, I'll get working on it. So, I would like to shop for 
some daisy seeds, please. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And do peony seeds as well. Let's have some pretty flowers in the place. That'll be really nice, won't it? You never know, the crows might not eat the flowers because <laughs> they're not vegetables. There was nothing on the board to do today by the looks of it. It normally gives me a little uh, exclamation if there is something to do. So I think that once I've planted these guys, I'm going to go and do a bit of diving. Because we haven't done a lot of diving yet. And I think uh, I would like to try and get that done. But I'm trying to keep the farm going as well. And do all the other quests that are asked of me if I can. And upgrade my tools. And do everything else. La 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 la. Fill that with water. And I need to hoe out another plot. any seeds in there and we'll give everything a water so the main thing is I think it's four days for the daisy seeds so they'll be done around the 16th 17th of spring that should be plenty of time and I think the daisy is the last... Oh, the, there's a carrot and a daisy needed for that particular bundle, the spring bundle. So that should be fine. They are all growing on my farm. Um, and I also need to... Yeah, so now I need to go diving to get more trash and things. Um, and I just need to get bronze quality crops. So fertilizer would be ideal for that, but I've got a little bit. I do have a little bit in my main loot chest. Let's get that fertilizer and get that onto some of these uh, some of these flower crops, maybe. And as we go along, things will start to get better. I'll start to get the upgrades from the kelp extract, uh, which is what we're trying to work towards now, is get the recycling machine to make the scrap, go and get some bronze kelp, and then we're going to make a kelp extractor. And then we'll get some more bronze kelp and make that into bronze kelp potion. And then we can use that to sort of upgrade crops and, and things like that. Crop seeds, I think, will get upgraded. So I'm going to head down to the ocean. I've still got a half bar of stamina, which isn't too bad. I chat to Alice. Hey there, nice to see a familiar face. I just keep talking to people as much as I can. Oh, Hi. Butter. You want to see what Butter is up to all day, but you have things to do. Peanut. Meow. I would love to pick up that mantis, but I think it's a mantis I've already had. And also, I'm going to have no room in my inventory if I pick up everything all the way along. So Until I've got 3,500 and I can get an extra line of inventory space, I've got to be really careful with what I do. Right, let's go diving. Hi. Theo, today I want to focus on my soul and just feed my brain some thoughts. Right, down we go. We're diving with my friend Kibble. I would imagine that um, upgrading my scythe would be a really useful thing for when I'm down here. Because I imagine it would probably mean that I could get more done with less stamina. Bit of kelp there, we need the kelp. Jackknife clam, and look, we found our first orb. So that goes in there, and that goes pachoom! Oh, 
follow that and it goes and gives me my next one. And hopefully that should regenerate all the coral around. Nice. And it let that barrier down. So I'll just um, continue to clean up a little bit around here, get everything else all cleaned. And continue to grab some coral. Not coral, so kelp. So I, I had about eight kelp and I needed about 20. Um, I've now got another five. The sea mushroom there. There's a bit more kelp over here as well. So it's good to get under the sea and do a bit of this, but I, like I say, I definitely want to do stuff on land so that I can get all the tools upgraded to make this undersea stuff easier to do. And as I'm healing the ocean, that will probably be giving me points uh, on the scoreboard to bring us up from an F to maybe an E. things here so we've got a steamer clam times two i need to remember now what uh, the fish things i need to be getting are before i get rid of any of these things that i'm picking up i think it was some kind of green urchin we we're looking for okay i'm gonna i'll do that little bit of trash next time i'm down here well, let's have a look around and specifically target the kelp. You can exit diving anytime using the anchor. Press X to call the anchor. Got any kelp around here? It might be too too messed up. Possibly to get any more kelp. I've got plenty of steamer clams. I can eat those for stamina if I want to. Oh, there's a little bit. So we now have how much kelp? 17. I think I could probably grab those and then head back up. Moving the anchor to here. Thank you very much, little dude. Exit diving. Yes. That was a good day. That was a good day diving. So let's head back. Um, can I? Very ornate sculpture. It looks familiar. It looks like one of those things down on the sea, doesn't it? Is this a fast travel point? Yes! At the diving pier, I can go back to the farm. And from the farm to the diving pier, I think. I can fast travel. Yes, we can. We can fast travel to the diving pier now. So as I find those fast travel points around the place, uh, I'll be able to do a bit more. I wonder if there's one like up by the, um, the mine. That would be useful. But let's, uh, all the trash we got, we should be able to put into the recycling machine. Make a bit of scrap from it. Then I'll probably want to keep some of it as trash. So I think generally put a little bit of trash in there. And some kelp. So when we do make the recycler, we'll be able... That's all my sea loot. Got a coffer from there as well. I can open that up at the blacksmith. And we might get something from the museum from that. Wonderful. Right, and I have no stamina left whatsoever. So I feel like um, tomorrow might be a day <laughs> to do more stuff. But I think today we are finished for now. Unless we want to go and chat with people in the tavern. I don't know. I really don't know.
But I'm wondering if there's anybody that I particularly have my eye on. Um, we've got Mark, a member of BOS, an international group for hunters. He volunteers at the animal shelter in his free time. Well, that's adorable. Noah spends his days keeping fish, fish and sips running on the rare occasions he's free and enjoys long walks with his mother, Betty, and discussing theories about unexplained phenomena with his close friend, Alice. Now we've got Raj, who is apparently right now swimming, I'm guessing, because he's in his, in his boxer shorts. Coffee connoisseur who owns a small outdoor coffee cafe in Starlet Town. They live at the inn. And we've got Pablo, who's a very sweet little flirty blacksmith and plays pool in the evenings at Fish and Sips. We got... Scott, who's a fun, fun little dude, archaeology dude. Yeah, we like Scott. Scott's good. We like Soria as well. Soria's cool. So Soria's a marine biologist. So you want someone a little bit more smart? Soria or Scott, probably. Spends his free time hanging out with his friends. And we got Theo. Uh, so he's the musician and he's also a fisherman. I think Theo might be a popular one, to be honest. I always... I really did like Raphael last time, though. Rack... Oh, sorry, Waku is an astronomer. During the week, he works and lives at the observatory. He spends the weekends at the lighthouse where his dad lives. Just looks utterly sullen. So unless we get some... Some... Uh, redeeming character arc... Stuff. So far, not as interesting to me. Just because he looks sulky. Uh, we missed Raphael. It doesn't he just have a cute look to him. It's just like, he looks kind of like a little puppy. <laughs> Reserve prefers silence and something he considers a perk of his line of work. Is there anyone always missing there? I think that's all the singles. It's all the singles we've met anyway. I met a lot more people at the um, a lot more people at the festival, so we've managed to like meet quite a few people now. Ah, we missed Ben and Charles. So Charles the Doctor is also a single, and Ben, if you like, you're kind of free and free and easy hippie dude. That's him. So that's all of the singles that we've got. Uh, oh, Kenny. He's lived on Coral Island his whole life and has fostered close relationships with other island islanders, people, animal trees, and spirits from beyond. Okay. Did we miss Luke as well? Ah, Luke is the owner. So if you want a, you want your businessman, that's probably Luke then. Uh, runs his family business, Hillside Manor and Vineyard. He's known for being a foodie and his tendency to overthink things. Nice. So, yeah. Luke, Luke's your, your rich businessman guy. Um, Mark's like your, your big hunter guy. He's just like, rah. Goes out and attacks things. Pablo and Raphael are the blacksmiths. So you can either have the, the shy, quiet guy or the, the cheeky, flirty apprentice. Which, whichever you prefer out of those. Raj, who seems to spend most of his time in his bathing suit. <laughs> Scott, Theo. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. What you think of my, my prospects right now. There's a couple of people we haven't met yet. Uh, there's one, two, three by the looks of it. So uh, that's, there's a possibility there might be another single guy amongst those three. Let me let me know what, what do you think, guys. And we're gonna go to bed, so I can do another day. Uh, did we watch everything on the telly? Yeah, yeah, we did. Go to bed. Another day where we didn't make much money. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting those merit points. 
wonder if anything's going to happen today. No. That's fine. Uh, looks like I can harvest my potatoes. Then I don't have to worry about them as much. I planted eight. I got six. Oh, one of them's a bronze quality. Very good. The carrots are ready. So I may take one straight up to the harvest goddess just so I don't like accidentally sell them all or something. Because you know what I'm like, that could easily happen to me. So easily. That could so easily happen to me. So getting more fertilizer will be key to um, getting better quality crops and fulfilling Sam's request of having a certain amount of bronze crops and fruits and things. Uh, I didn't see any particular fruits seeds for sale but I think there might be some blueberries or something like that next season so maybe that'll be a summer season thing. I don't think that quest is meant to be done like in a day you know what I mean it's gonna be a little while to get that one completely finished off. I don't know why those carrots are a day behind the others, but oh well. And again, I'll do a bit of selling so that I'll have some money for... Um, so I'll, sell, I'll definitely sell my potato. And my silver potato and my bronze potato. I don't know whether uh, potatoes that are more than bronze level count as bronze or you have to literally have bronze ones whether gold and silver ones count let me have a quick look at the quest so local produce at the moment i've got zero out of 50 bronze quality vegetables so if that changes to three overnight then i'll know that gold and silver count if it changes to one overnight then i'll know that only bronze matters so i've healed one out of five of my coral sites and I've got some scrap here now. And uh, I did get quite a bit of kelp. So I'm thinking we might be able to make this extractor at this point. Let's have a look. Yeah. Cool. Let's put that down. Uh, maybe over here. Eventually I'll want to build a shed or something to put all these in, I think. Produces kelp essence using 10 kelp and one glass. Now, do we have any glass is the question. We have four, and we have 13 bronze kelp. So, I should now be able to make my first... Lovely. Yeah, we've got our first kelp essence going, and I'll take that over to the lab later. Um, in the meantime, I want to go... Uh, I, I'm going to just hold on to the coffers and things. I'll just put them in there. That's fine. I'm going to head over fast travel wise to the lake temple. Loving the fast travel. Super loving it. Running is for losers. Ooh, catch altar. Okay. So now I've handed one lot in here. Then another altar has opened up. Okay. Spring season carrots i just got the daisy to do once they're ready and then we're good so the catch altar freshwater fish catfish tilapia rainbow fish silver arowana and a koi saltwater fish pink snapper lionfish asian sheep's head yellowfin tuna and a sardine rare fish sturgeon gatorgar arapaima giant sea bash bass more, uh, more eel, okay. Day insect. Tiger beetle, yucca moth, silk moth. Oh, I had an Assam silk moth. I donated it to the uh, museum. Okay, night insects. Firefly, Procopia caterpillar, a centipede, a rove beetle, and an atlas moth. Okay, and ocean critters. We need a cannonball jellyfish, a hermit crab, sexy shrimp. Sunflower, sea star, and pom pom crabs. So they, I think, you can catch them with your net under the sea. 
Okay. Complete all to unlock a dig site. Okay, nice. I don't know whether the second one here will unlock this one. But I'm glad that the, the altars are unlocking fast. That's good. I'm not going to remember any of that though. So why don't we go to freshwater, capped fish, tilapia, rainbow fish, silver arowana and koi. So why don't we go somewhere where there's fresh water? Oh yeah, how about we go back to the farm and then we head up towards the, um, the mine. I can see if there's a fast travel location there that I can un unlock. And I can go and do a bit of fishing. I think that would be a good idea. And just see, just see what I get in the fresh water. If I happen to find insects that, that match as well, that's great. If I don't, then okay. I'm the worst at this. I'm hoping that I can uh, make up for my terrible critter catching skills by being okay at fishing or something. I don't know though. I haven't tried fishing yet. I don't even know if the whole time that I was doing things last time, whether I ever fished. Wait for a fish to hook the line. I see. Gotcha! I found a crab. It walks sideways. I don't believe that was any one of the things that I needed to get, but we'll just keep going. The goddess statue, the goddess stuff is probably going to be the most important thing to make sure I do first in a season. Just make sure the line tension stays right. A phantom black ghost fish. Ah, okay, cool. I'm getting quite a few different things and I can take all these things to the museum. So anything that I get that isn't for the goddess is still going to be quite useful. There might be a case for going to just different locations as well, possibly. got another crab okay let's try over here because it might be that there's different depths of, of, uh, of water and it may, may, may make a difference okay. and we don't have to wait too long to hook something which is quite nice I really hate games when you have to wait for like a million years for something to go on the hook you just feel like you're sat there waiting when it doesn't take too I don't mind taking longer to battle the fish because I'm doing something then. I don't like the waiting. So this is kind of cool. Whoop. And we've got another crab. I feel like crabs are the most um, numerous thing here at the moment. Maybe night fishing will make uh, will give us a different result. I'm not seeing many like tilapia or koi or anything. That's probably trash. A flyer, yeah. Generally in games like this, when it doesn't fight you, it's trash. But we'll see what the flyer is for. Come on. So 
another crab? How is it another crab? Why is that all I'm catching? <laughs> I wanna go with, I'm gonna go down to the sea and try and catch something in the sea then, I think. But at least I can I can fast travel over to the lake and double check what fish I've got. And whether one is one that I needed for the fish catching thing. That's another black phantom ghost fish. I need to go to a different area. I could try the pond in my farm. We could try there. And like I say, we can try this area maybe at night or on a rainy day. A zebra fish. Oh, we've got something a little bit different. So maybe if I do ones and twos and threes, it gives me different fish. I don't know. Because that I did a one for. And I got a zebra fish. Come on, don't fight me. Don't fight me. There we go. Another black phantom ghost fish. Wonderful. Well, it's gonna be night. I'm gonna be night fishing just from how long this fishing is taking. Ah. Well, I guess I have to do something to make up for the fact I'm so terrible at bug catching. Really? Why is it all the phantom ghost fishes? Right, so let's have a look at the area I'm at. So this area seems to be just full of ghost fishes. But maybe there would be, over here, would be a bit of a, a deeper area to fish in. That might make a difference. I don't know the rules about fishing in this game, particularly, so. Because it's a freshwater pond here. Let's see if I can go down this way. And if I can throw my rod in here. No. I can't get down to there. Maybe on the other side of the lake? We could try the other side. No. Sad times. Maybe from off the bridge. There's a fish. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's trash. So we're not doing very well with this, are we? However, I can take the phantom fish, the zebra fish, and the other fish to the museum at least. There'll be three more museum things, and maybe the maybe the museum would be interested in the flyer. I don't know. I keep pulling up trash and flyers. It sucks. Maybe I could try the, actually fishing in the lake. It's the worst that can happen. But yeah, here we've got a fast track. Oh. Looks like I need to get one more thing before that will open. Rats. So we've got to run here manually for now. That'll open probably with the next thing I unlock. Should definitely keep my bug net on me just in case I see anything like a firefly or something. I have seen one firefly before. Cricket. 
That might be, that's a new thing, I think. But yeah, I absolutely want the things for the goddess uh, statues, for the goddess shrines, altars, whatever you want to call them. My kelp is my kelp potion is ready, so we'll go to the lake temple. And I'll remind myself of which fish and insects and things are what required. We've been freshwater fishing. Cat, tilapia, rainbow, silver, and koi. No. No. Just in case the black, whatever it's called, is. Sturgeon Gator got out. No. No. making absolutely sure and then I think we want to go over to maybe my farm again and then we'll quickly nip from there to the museum it's a bit closer isn't it and I'll hand in all the bits and bobs that I haven't seen before in the museum and we're gonna need to get some more things to grow I think Once I have my daisy, I'll have my spring crop bundle. It may be that some of these fish are just not available at all in springtime, but I'm going to try and fish at as many locations as possible and grab as many fish as possible. And like I say, it's all going to go into the museum. Anything that doesn't isn't needed by the goddess will be a museum piece anyway. Right. So I'm clear to donate my zebra fish, my cricket, a crab, and a black phantom ghost fish. And now I am up to 20. Wonderful. And I got 20 glass for that. Oh, perfect. That'll be good for my bottles. See? Look, they've gone in there, look. They've gone in their tank. Doesn't really tell me what they are or anything. And it looks like my boot and my, my rocks and my marble, they've all gone on there as well. So, we're doing a good job. Just whatever we do, whether we're fishing, insect catching, mining, or under the sea, there's always going to be things that I can find that are worthwhile. Um, do I want to do a little bit of diving now is the question. How bad is my inventory? Pretty chocker full. Uh, so I want to sell the rest of my carrots, my crabs, my, my ghost fish. I want to sell all of those. Although part of me is like, should I be keeping carrots and potatoes and things like that for later when I can cook? But I'm like, you know what? I'll work it out when I actually get the ability to cook. But now I'm just going to sell things. So sell all my crabs, sell all my black phantom dudes, sell my flyers, um, sell my carrots my lettuce and then we're good I think and it's nearly midnight so I think it's time to end the episode and my poor little my poor little neglected little house that still hasn't got much stuff in it but we will work on that eventually it's just at the moment uh... Ooh, my first sprinkler Flash and compost bin. Nice. I earned a little bit of money that day as well, which is nice too. Got all my fishing. They say that fishers make a lot of money, so that's cool. When I have three and a half thousand, it's going straight onto my bag upgrade. Spoils of the land. in the daytime, in the ocean, all year. So that's something I do need for the goddess, actually, the sexy shrimp. I didn't think it was actually called that, but apparently it is. 
windy tomorrow. Ooh. What's it saying? A high pollen count is expected. The doctor will be annoyed by that. Um, oh, who's our special? Oh, landslide again. No, we did that one. It certainly gives you chances to to do things over and over again, doesn't it? Uh, can we harvest that yet? No, those are coming along. Those are harvestable. Carrots. And then I'll take a look at the mail and see what we're up to with that. It looks like you're ready for this. This is a basic sprinkler. Place it in your field and it'll water some of your crops for you. Best part, you can craft as many of these as you need as long as you have the necessary material. Jeff Smith at the Farmer's Guild. If you have any fresh spring vegetables, please send something my way from Suki. I've got some carrots, so I can send Suki a carrot, I guess. Sprinkler. Okay, so... looks like I need to have one little area that's not in the middle so it takes up one space so why don't we pop it here uh, so if I unhoe um oh yeah we did it we did it okay and put the sprinkler down there we are and then I'll just put some seeds around it and it will automatically sprinkle them for me. Wonderful. I need to do more quests as well so I can get the scarecrow. I can take my kelp potion over to the lab as well. I feel like that might be a good thing. Um, so I did the quest. So I still need to do another 30 things to the museum and I need to go and gift a spring vegetable to Suki. Where is Suki though, is the question. Do we know where people are when we know them? We do, which is quite nice. So where would Suki be? Zara. I don't know Suki well enough. No. The location. Lily, Jimmy, and Theo. The Pufferfish. Oh, I haven't been into side Pufferfish. Emma and Dipper are there. Ben in his caravan. Jack, Kira, and Kenny. I have no idea where Suki is. Coral Inn. Okay. I can go and take a carrot down there. And then we can go to the lab. Oh, should I water my crops first? Probably should, shouldn't I? Especially the daisies. That's important. But yeah, I'll make a few sprinklers and then I won't need to do anything. Just get rid of those pesky scarecrows. Uh, sorry, crows. But hopefully I'll manage to get some um, nicer scarecrows soon. Not just the scrap ones. And maybe they'll cover a bit more ground. Because those scarecrows really don't cover a lot. I mean, if you put them right in the middle, they would cover quite a lot. But I don't really want them right in the middle of my, of my field. It's bad enough the sprinkler has to be right in the middle of my field. Okay, all done. And let's see if... Let's see if Suki is still there, firstly. I don't want to be going somewhere and then they're not even there. That would suck. Yeah, she's still there. Okay. Okay. 
Is this the inn? I think this is the inn. Yes, Coral Inn. Perfect. I think she should be in here. I can give her a carrot and then hopefully that will make her like me a bit more. And also... There she is. We should take a break from farm life and stay here for a weekend or something. Maybe. Good quest item. You can just relax and read a book in your room with the windows open. Fall asleep to the calming sound of the waves. Give carrots. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, did I need to, like, then tell my quest log that I'd done that, or...? Nope. Okay. The reward was just um, relationship points with Suki, so... I don't know if Suki liked me before, but maybe Suki likes me more now. Well, at least one heart's worth. So maybe we didn't have a heart's worth before? I'm not sure. So we've got sprinkler, flash, and compost bin. Turns trash into compost. Oh, that's not too bad then. Because we're going to be clearing a whole load of trash from under the sea. So that's going to be wonderful. Okay. And mastery. Like I've got a farming mastery, so chance for watered soil to stay watered the following day. Don't really want to get that when I just got sprinklers. Thank you. A uh, 10% chance for better quality and a chance to harvest double quality, definitely. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to head up to the lab and go and see if I can spend my kelp potion on something or whether I need more than one. I don't know. I might need a few. Not really sure how it works exactly. Do I know who you are? Nice Raj. Vegetables? Is it raw vegetables? None for me thanks, I'm not big on vegetables. Fruit on the other hand. Oh, so Raj likes fruit. Good to know. I'm pretty much free today, I usually pay the bills on Wednesdays. That way I can make sure we don't double pay. Shammy, thanks. So Alice likes carrots. So if I actually now go to Alice's relationship, um, you can see that she loves a certain amount of things. She loves sort of a green... Why doesn't it come up when I go over it? Like what it is. She likes carrots and she loves green smoothie and like whatever that is. Cool. Um, we can have different expressions and outfits based on... On that, I could probably, like, use these to cut out certain characters quite easily and use them for thumbnails and things. So extra expressions would be really cool. And extra outfits. That would be very, very good. Okay, so that was nice. I gave her a present and I learned that she kind of liked something, which is good. I imagine the blacksmiths might like ore and things like that. Need to work on that. Oh, no, I've gone this way. Why have I gone this way? I need the lab. I was getting too excited about all the people I'd met. Who are you? I've not seen someone in a blue suit before. Antonio. Hmm, yeah. Ah, the new resident. Oh, so th there was one more single, was there? It is, I can only imagine. And Oh, no, he's not a single. He's Suki's ex-husband and Valentina's dad. He owns the White Flamingo Boutique. While he's in Starlet Town, he stays at the inn. Okay, so he's not always there. That's an interesting uh, an interesting thing. So there's two more that I haven't seen yet. And I there's a couple of like strangers up here. There's one up at the observatory and one up at like the hot springs area. But I want to go to the lab right now. Uh, I don't even know how to get there right now because I'm so lost. Museum, general store, and lab. So that way, I think. I put my carrot away. <laughs> There's every chance the doctor might like carrots because it's like healthy. I don't know, maybe. Charles, 
Right, so I can go here now, I think. And I can upgrade produce quality. So gold seed, so um, one, br five bronze kelp essence. And I can get bronze seeds. Uh, six. And I can get a bronze seedling, which I think is probably for, I don't know. What's a seedling for? Bronze sapling, that would be for trees. Fruit tree upgrade. Ah, oh, so that's how you get most of the fruit, I guess. A hay upgrade level one increases the chance to produce higher quality animal products. Okay. Well, I'll probably un upgrade as much of that as possible, but at the moment, can't do it because I don't have enough bronze kelp essence or, well, actually, I do have enough coins. So. Once I've got a little bit more kelp essence, then we'll be all good to go on that one. So I think I might just go diving for a little bit then. Sacred area. Theo's playing the theme tune. That's lovely. Valentina is flying a kite. My nose is itchy. Oh, I can, I can feel you on that one. I always get confused down here, don't I? Fish and sips. Follow the board, walk round. Ah, I need to be over here. Can I go this way? Can I make a little shortcut here? Who, whose house is this? Who lives in a house like this? Massive house, huge house. I'm hoping my house can be this big eventually. Wow, could fit so much stuff in it. That looks so good. So that house belongs to Frank and Erica. It's got a garage as well. Cool. I swear I could have just gone back to my farm. And teleported. Yeah, let's do a bit of diving. I will need to do a lot more fishing and bug hunting though, because I feel like that's going to be really important. And that some of that might not be able to, not, might not be doable, not in the spring. In fact, let's do a little bit of fishing off the pier here before we go diving. Maybe I'll catch something. Maybe one of those sexy shrimps. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, that is as far that's how far I can push it then. Good to know. It doesn't give you much leeway once it gets to the top. Okay, you need to be much, much more careful. more patient. I 
damselfish. So that's a new one. It's not a goddess one, but it's a new one. Or if it is, I don't remember it being. in progress all the time with this one. Oh, no, that's so annoying. Okay, um, I think I'll fish in the sea again, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. That's really, really difficult, actually. However, I'll probably be able to reset my... So I could probably do with a bit more kelp. That's another 11. So I need 10 per kelp thingy. I can see something over there that looks like it's glowing. Does that mean it's a... No, not necessarily, apparently. Cleaning up this seabed. I love cleaning the seabed. I don't know why. I find it super fun. It is a, almost as fun as hoovering in no place like home. I found a coffer, an ornate coffer. Nice. So some of these coffers I'm finding under the sea will be things I can hand into the museum. That damselfish that I just caught is another one. So we'll be on like 22 soon, I think. Good to get the kelp because that's going to just increase all my stuff. It's going to make everything better. And if these ornate coffers all have cool stuff in them, it's going to be very useful. There we are, we found it. Activate. This one over here, yes. Good stuff. I need to activate five of them, and then I get to keep my diving suit. There is trash in the way. We found it. I truly, truly love the animations on this. They're so good. I just love cleaning this place up as well. It looks so much nicer when you've cleaned it all. You've got trash oh that's my first thing I can catch with my net I think a yeti crab its main food is bacteria it grows in its pincers hmm. that's super handy take your, take your snacks with you you're growing your own snacks on yourself it's getting late and we will leave soon Grab a couple more bits then, and then we'll probably get kicked out. Oh, there's some more kelp around. Um, it's quite helpful that as you tidy stuff up... Oh, my inventory's full. No. Well, we can come and get things tomorrow. Um, salt. That's something we need for the goddess. So that's kind of important. All right then, uh, let's get out of here, I suppose. Oh, 
Are we getting taken away as well? No? No, we're not? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, well, I think we're going to go to bed and end the episode there then, because, like... Uh, this has gone on way too long. <laughs> but I've had a lot of fun, so... I said we'd be getting... We'd be trying to make a lot of progress by doing long episodes sometimes, so... That's it for today, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.